Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to make this cute coffee cup Christmas card for your crush because it contains a secret message here when you open the lid. It's super cute and very easy to make. So stay tuned! First, start with a craft paper, an envelope, a straw, a scissor. The last, glue. For the coloring material, I will suggest to use water-based material like watercolor pencil. We only need a brown color, which is coffee color, or watercolor crayon like this one. Again, we only need a brown color. Or watercolor. First, start with what kind of envelope you use. It doesn't matter what size envelope you use. As well as the car, it's able to fit inside the envelope. That's fine. Today, I am going to demonstrate using this one. I think this one is more close to coffee cup size. But again, it doesn't matter. Just use what you have. After you got all the material ready, the first step is putting the envelope on top of the craft paper and just chase the shape of the envelope out. The purpose here is just to make sure your coffee cup gonna be smaller than the envelope so that the coffee cup can be put inside the envelope. Now I try to put the paper inside the envelope, see if it fits. If it fits, it's gonna be okay. If it's not, so I still need to cut the side out. Now it's perfect. I'm going to draw the shape of the coffee cup and just to remember on top leave a little bit space because on top that part is going to be the straw so the straw will be sticking out and don't be afraid because later this pencil mark will be erased so just draw on it and if you can draw a little bit lighter will be better because later will be easier to erase out after the drawing just cut the coffee cup shape out i cut out the coffee cup put on top of the craft paper again this time we are going to chase the coffee cup shape out because we are going to cut another coffee cup shape we are going to make the lid and uh, the coffee part which is the water parts so i am going to complete the lid here and i'm going to cut out the lid after i cut it out i just put on the top of the coffee cup just see if it's able to cover it if it's good then done the lid part i mean then I'm going to cut the rest of the coffee shape out and this part is to make the coffee part. After I cut it out, I put on top of the coffee cup I made before and to see where the height I want the coffee to be. So here I'm just simply draw it out so I know where I should cut out the parts. Again, which part is too much, just cut out the excess because just making sure the coffee part should be a little bit smaller than the cup. That makes sense, right? Now I'm just making sure the coffee part is gonna be smaller than the cup part and the lid part covering underneath the lid part so they all looks good. So after that, I am going to erase the pencil marks. Now what I'm gonna do is color the coffee part. You can use whatever the material you have. I suggest to use watercolor base or 
something can make it more like transparent because after you put a brown color you still want to write your greeting on I don't suggest too heavy color unless you have even stronger color on top so I'm here using a watercolor just give a little bit coffee like brown color so I mix this too as I'm making sure this makes look close coffee actually it does this color come out pretty nice look like coffee so I just gonna cover the whole thing okay because this is not a watercolor paper so it's not like 100% absorbing but it's okay we are not looking for anything like perfect here that's not the purpose and I try to make a little bit line so you can see kind of a separate part here put a little bit more stronger on this line here this to dry you can see it's like curving right now but it doesn't matter because later we're gonna glue on the coffee during the time waiting for the coffee part to dry i'm here to join the lid i use marker here to just draw a circle around the lid you can also use color pencil or any color you like Next, I'm going to cut out a hole in the middle so I can put the straw inside. I thought my scissor can do the work. However, my scissor is too big, so I decided to use something else. Oh, I didn't need to grab a knife. Well, the straw is too long, so I am going to cut it out. I use the envelope and uh, the coffee cup to measure how much I want to cut it. Again, as well as I'm able to put this inside the envelope, it's good. Here, I'm just putting all the parts together to make sure they work well. And next, I am going to write my greeting on top of the coffee. I choose to write really simple green color marker. Merry Christmas. That's it. Of course, you can put more things, um, but that's what I did. Next, I am going to glue the coffee parts onto the cup. Okay, here I am using the glue the lid, not because this is a special way to do it, just because my glue doesn't have much, so it cannot come out well. So that's the way I do it. Next, it's gonna put your secret message on. I put the would you like to grab a coffee you can put i like you or whatever you want to put last just put all the parts together voila you have your coffee cup cards for your crush and the last thing you need to do is just put inside your envelope Well, outside the envelope, you can put to who, from who, if you want. Hey, here it's something for you. Merry Christmas. Thank you. It's very nice. Coffee card. Merry Christmas. You can open it. I already opened it. I mean, open the card. I already did. Thanks. Never mind. 
wait. Would you like to get a coffee together sometimes? Not it. Hope your crush is not that dumb. <clears throat> I mean, innocent. So, if that's the case, you should probably just tell him or tell her. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram. Hopefully, I can see you around. Bye.